most of the reason why I know the stuff that I know is because I sit back and I observe. I shut up and I just listen. I listen to what people do. I listen to how they move. I watch them and I don't say nothing, right? I let you feel like this is a judgment-free zone and I just watch to see what you want to do, right? And in doing that, I've learned so much stuff about men and women. But one thing I learned about women specifically is that they cannot see themselves. They literally cannot see themselves at all. I don't know what be going on, but it's like they can literally do the same exact thing a man is doing. And somehow in their mind, they don't see it that way. I have literally been around women who barely knew me, right? But just felt comfortable sharing the information to me. But will sit up, show me their phone. I can see text messages, DMs from men. And these are married women, women in relationships. Showing me men offering to take them out to eat, send them money. And she don't see nothing wrong with this. She absolutely is entertaining the conversation and don't see nothing wrong with it. But if it was her husband or her boyfriend doing the same thing, it would be a completely different story. I be on TikTok sometimes and I come across a video where a dude oiled up, thirst trapping, and you will have married women in that comment section making little jokes towards they husband in the comment section basically saying that they willing to risk it all for this thirst trap, right? But let they husband be under the picture of a woman's thirst trap. Completely different story. I don't play that it's okay when women do it, but it ain't all right when men do it. Oh no, keep it across the board and don't play with it at all. I'm about to also shake the table on something else people don't like to talk about. People don't want to admit how many times women are actually the aggressor in a situation when it comes to sex. I know the picture is always painted that this woman was some helpless woman who was invited over this man's house and she was sitting on his bed like a little angel and then he slid over there and put his hand on her thigh. A lot of times that's not how it went down. <laughs> he was actually okay with watching TV. It was her who jumped on top of him and made the show go down, right? Like a lot of times stuff is really a narrative getting pushed that don't even be the truth of what's happening. It's a lot of women out here who are very sexually active and they're very aggressive when it comes to sex. And so it's not always the man. It ain't always him being a pervert. It ain't always him being the aggressor in the situation. Sometimes it was her. Sometimes he was saying no. And she still kept pushing it until he was like, okay. Again, do you think you will ever have a man come forward and be like, she forced me into it? Most men are not. They just accept it and go on. Do you know how many young boys, when they were in their early teens, were molested by older women? And they had no choice in it. D-Ray Davison talked about how he was traumatized when he was a child by an older woman forcing him to do oral sex on her. And that is sad, but that is not a one case scenario. It happens more often than people like to talk about. It is very unfortunate how men don't feel comfortable coming forward to talk about a lot of stuff because it gets minimized. And I'm going to be honest, I've minimized it a lot of times in conversations on here. But the reality is a lot of them, they do have true stories that should be told because a lot of times these narratives that women are online pushing only benefit women to keep the same thing going that all men are trash and all women are perfect angels and it's so hard to find a good man, but it's all of these wonderful women walking the earth. It's not, right? It's not. And the sooner y'all let that lie go, it's about even. Like I just said before, the amount of trash men and trash women is about even. It's hard for both men and women to find a decent person out here on the dating scene. Let the lie go.